The weather this month has been ideal for a tradition along Interstate 81 in Scranton. Drivers may have noticed the colors staining the white snow and ice through the 81 corridor the past few weeks. Newswatch 16 Stacy Lang introduces us to the man behind the interstate art. You may have spotted the bright colors from your car window while driving on Interstate 81 near River Street in Scranton. Skycam 16 can give you an even better view. When the world turns white each winter, someone stains the snow, a collection of bright colors, creating a piece of ice art that drivers in Scranton have become accustomed to. The man behind the colorful snow is appropriately named Art. Art Anacardo lives behind Interstate 81 on Moltke Avenue. When he saw the forecast a few weeks ago, he knew it was time. Yeah, I watch the ice. When I go down the highway, I look and see if it's ready to be done or not, if it's enough there and the temperature is good. If you've wondered what makes the snow and ice so bright, it's food coloring that Art buys online in large quantities. I get on my ATV, I take it down, and I hang over the edge and... I pour it on there just like the gentleman that used to do it years ago. Art isn't the original ice artist. He got the idea from a former neighbor on Moltke Avenue, John Edbertoski, who colored the ice back in the 80s. I grew up seeing it since I was a little kid. When he did it, we used to go down the highway and we seen it. I thought it was neat. And I just thought it was time somebody should do it again. Art says he will continue the tradition as long as he is able during the time of year when the roads in northeastern Pennsylvania could really use a pop of color. Just giving joy to people that drive down the highway, knowing that if I create one smile from one person, that's great. Stacy Lang, Newswatch 16, Scranton.